Hi, this is Kevin Deal from Upscale Audio, and today we're going to talk about one of the most unusual, most incredible speakers that we sell here at Upscale Audio, the Tannoy Eaton. Now, for those of you that like a stand mount speaker, I know why you love them. Stand mount speakers can disappear and can image in ways that a big floor standing speaker cannot. And the reason for that is simple. They don't have to deal with a big cabinet. The downside to a stand mount speaker is many of them don't have good usable bass. And I'm talking, you know, people go, oh, they got great bass, but let's get into reality. They don't have really good bass, and sometimes they don't pick up the chestiness of a voice because you're going to have like a six and a half inch mid range driver, and that can do a pretty good job. But if you're listening to crooners like Jim Morrison or Johnny Cash or, I mean, a, a million other uh, vocalists, you're not going to get that thing that thing that comes from the gut, you know, and um, and so that's a problem. So with a stand mount speaker, you can add a subwoofer, and if you do it right, absolutely, it can be heaven. But what if you don't want to have a subwoofer? What if you don't want to have a stand mount speaker because most of them suck up a lot of power. They're going to be like 86 dB efficient. What if you want a speaker that's going to give you real usable bass and absolutely rock your world with a holographic mid-range that is shocking. That's what we're talking about here. This is my speaker. I had to bring it back here to the store. This was speaker is from my man cave. I fell in love with it. I said, hell yeah, I'm taking it home. In my man cave, I had some, uh, which is kind of like my garage, whatever you want to call it. It actually turned out bitching. I had some JBL L65s because I wanted a vintage look, you know, for fun. But damn, man, those jubels, the mid-range driver's like this. It's just quack, quack, quack. I just could not get over it. And considering it had a 10-inch woofer, the bass response really is not that terrific. Then I tried some other stuff, and it's just like, man. Then I heard these, and it all came together. Let's talk about Tannoy as a company. Founded in 1926. 1927, they started making rectifiers. We use rectifier tubes today. They made rectifiers out of tantalum and lead alloy, hence the name Tannoy, founded by a guy named Guy Fontaine. In, uh, then they, shortly thereafter, they started making microphones and loudspeakers. During World War II, when they announced the end of the war and they had speakers going through the streets and letting everybody in the UK know that uh, the world is safe once again, people didn't say, uh, I heard it on a loudspeaker. They said, I heard it on the tannoys that the war is over. That is super, super cool. 1947, Tannoy invented a new type of loudspeaker, a, a dual coincident driver, which means that you have a high frequency driver placed within the cone area of the mid range bass driver, and the rest is history. I mean, what are we talking about? I'm talking about a speaker that has probably been involved in much of your favorite music in the recording studio. Abbey Road Studios, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, mastered on Tannoy loudspeakers. It's a company with real engineering. It's a company with real chops. I've been to Hong Kong. I've been all over the place, but I'm telling you, man, in Hong Kong, there's this big, tall building, and I forget the name of it. It's over by the ladies' market, and it's all hi-fi dealers. And many of those dealers are vintage dealers. And if you go to Hong Kong, you go to Japan, they don't want to hear about none of this other shishi stuff. They want to hear about tannoys. And they want to talk about vintage tannoys, tannoy monitor golds, tannoy reds. They pray to that stuff. And there's a reason for it. Because it's real, and it's musical, and it is glorious, and it has an intrinsic value that it maintains. This is a speaker that if you buy it, it's going to be relevant and it's going to be cool in 10, 20, 30 years. And that is true for any tannoy, especially the stuff that they make in-house, in the stuff that they make in the UK. And that's what we're talking about here. So what makes it so special? All right. First of all, this has got their best... Um, Waveguide. It's called the Tulip Waveguide, and I was really amazed that they had uh, spent that money because it is the most complex waveguide that they make. It's the coolest one that they make, and then it's placed inside this 10-inch uh, this 10-inch driver. 
It uses Alnico magnets, which is a really, really big deal. Uh, in fact, this speaker was made originally back in the 1970s. They made a whole series of speakers that were front ported and had a cabinet that was not that deep. And they wanted to have a speaker that had real bottom end, but could be if it needed to be. It could be placed closer to a back wall. Now you can put them close to a back wall if you want, bring them on out, uh, but again, this offers you a little bit more flexibility in that way. I wanna say one more thing. Most stand mount speakers are gonna be about 86, maybe 87 dB efficient. So they're gonna be a little bit more power hungry. This speaker is 89 dB efficient. So compared to other stand mounts that we sell, this will require half the amount of power. So you can run this with a single ended amp if you choose to, unless you're a crazy rock and roller and you gotta crank it up. You can run it with five, eight, 10 watts and it will absolutely rock your world. So, real tannoy driver, and the beauty of it is this, you can fine tune this to your own personal taste. You have two different adjustments on the front. One of them is for tweeter energy, and you're able to go up or down a total of six dB to fine tune it to your own personal taste. This control down here adjusts the crossover slope. So, if you wanna fine tune the top end response, and I'm not talking about the amount of energy, I'm talking about the character of the top end. You have even more adjustability here to get it right where you want it. And then if you get a different amplifier, you know, let's say you got a solid state amp and you ended up getting a tube amp, or the, that's, the opposite is true. Let's say you had an unbelievable tube amp, which is really what you should have, but you went to a solid state amp because you had to, and they found that solid state amp was just kind of bright. You're gonna be able to kind of tame it down a little bit. You can also adjust the bass response. I don't think anybody would want to use the bass plugs that it comes with because the bottom end is just unbelievable. But if you had to, it can. And of course it comes with the front grill, but for me, the beauty of a tannoy, especially the legacy products, is how cool looking they are with uh, the grill removed. Flip around the rear, and guess what? We got WBT Next Gen Terminals. I was amazed to see that they offer these uh, on, uh, on all of the upper line Tannoy products. So it's bi wireable, should you choose to do so. It has an additional pin plug right here that you can hook up to the ground of your amplifier and it can help to drop the noise floor just a little bit. So this is just an additional ground wire that can go to the chassis of your amplifier should you choose to do so. It doesn't have to be anything special. Try it, experiment with it, piece of cake. So, uh, what does it sound like? The mid-range is so perfect. The bottom end is so unbelievable. You have to come here and listen to them in my store or just take my word for it, I promise you. This speaker is different than anything else. I was reading a review, and I'm just gonna quote what this dude said. You know, again, like I said, stand mounts can do amazing things, but this is better than most any stand mount I've ever heard because of the way it can get chestiness and still have the ability to disappear. This review, the guy said, I began by spinning a beautifully mastered and pressed vinyl version of The Falls Frightened from the first pressing live at the Witch Trials. For a few seconds, I was motionless and a bit dumbfounded. The nature of the stereo imaging was just staggering. I've never really heard anything like it before. Many speakers take the soundstage and present it to you in a fairly flat manner. Then some of the good examples push the stereo image back and provide depth and a slice of 3D to add a firming image, not the tannoys. What the Eatons did was to pick up the lead singer, Mark E. Smith, and drag him forward into the new space. Then they placed air and space around him. I felt that I could have risen from my chair and walked around him. That's how crafted the image was. Not so much 3D as hologrammatic. That's what I'm talking about. The ability to create space, the ability to create a true hologram. Hook this up with a $2,400 Prima Luna integrated amp, and I'm telling you something. 
you know, you are going to be amazed. It is going to blow your mind. I listened to him. I fell in love with him. I dropped my own jack on him. Now, we've got a couple of different stands. You want to use a stand that's going to kind of look a little beefy, I think, because this is a beefy speaker. So you don't want to use some skinny little ass stand. I mean, I guess you could. I got a couple of really cool stands. You can put them about 21 inches high uh, if you want the tweeter off axis. It depends on where you're sitting in your seat. And we'll talk to you about that and make sure that you get things right. Listen, this is a real achievement. This is a speaker that is absolutely unique in the industry. A speaker that will disappear, that's gonna give you a mid-range that will just blow your mind, but then give you unbelievable bottom end that will kick the living shit out of stand mount speakers that I sell here. And it is the fact. So come to our store, beautiful 10,000 square foot store, and we will play them for you. Or give us a call, go to our website. Listen, we take trade-ins. Get rid of that stupid old crap you got. Get some cool stuff. Trade in some of that old tchotchke that you have and get the hook up with something that's bitching, something that will inspire you. Nobody here works on commission. I never want any of that job. I don't want that kind of vibe here. I promise you, we will treat your system like it's our system. Thanks.